Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. And in this episode, I want to share with you guys the Ember Mug. Now, the first time I ever heard about the Ember Mugs is about two years ago on James Hoffman's channel. And during that time, he talked about how ridiculous this mug is and I thought it was a ridiculous product as well. Now, fast forward to two years later, one of my colleagues actually bought one of the Ember Mugs and this is actually the improved Ember Mug 2. It's even more expensive than what it was two years ago. However, it does have a few improvement and out of curiosity I asked him to lend me this mug for me to try it out for a couple weeks just to see what it's all about and after two weeks I am here to share with you my thoughts. Now before I actually get to the review, I actually want to go ahead and do a unboxing. Obviously this product has already been opened and tried, however, because it was still relatively new and the box was in good condition, I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys what comes in the box when you first get this product. Okay, so a couple of little details that I do appreciate is whenever a manufacturer decided to have a different color accent on the inside of the box it actually gives a very nice pop as you are pulling the sleeve up. I really appreciate little details like that. Yeah, on the outside sleeve is just some description and some graphics. And when you open the product itself, you are greeted with just the ember mug right on top. As you remove the layers, we have the little coaster charging, charging stand. And then once more, re you remove another layer. We have the little instruction manual it does come with some stickers some warranty information some marketing material and of course like I said the instruction manual right here it does have this nice orange color which I really appreciate and on the bottom is actually just the charging cable. When I initially borrowed this product from my coworker, one of the first thing that kind of was a little disappointing to me when I opened the box was this charging cable. As you can see, this feels a lot like a cheap charging cable that you just get with some random devices. Uh, as you can see here, the power adapter is more or less of a generic power adapter. And then the second thing that I was a little disappointed about was the charging stand. I was actually expecting at this point they would actually upgrade the charging stand to a Qi charger just because I will also enable the stand to be an alternative charger for your phone as well as other Qi enabled devices when it's just sitting on your desk because it's obviously gonna take up a spot on your office desk or your home office or whatnot. Secondly, it's obviously a much more elegant solution since you're paying over $100 for a mug like this. But anyways, that's what we get. In terms of the mug itself, I actually really appreciate the simplicity of it. It feels nice and heavy in the hand. This is largely due to the battery pack that's in the heating element. However, it still feels very balanced and it doesn't really feel very bottom heavy or anything like that. So in terms of the mug itself, I actually really, really enjoy the way it feels in the hand. The handle is it's quite comfortable. It's made to be a little bit tapered to the side. A little bit flat with a little bit of a curved edge on the inner side so as far as holding the mug goes it actually is quite comfortable now my car could this splurge a little bit and get the larger volume one so this is the 14 ounce version of the ember mug they do make a slightly smaller one which is a 10 ounce one of the main differences is that the 10 ounce is rated for 90 minutes and the 14 ounce is only rated for 80 minutes. Regardless of which one you get, both of these mugs are actually heated via a convection element. And the Ember Mug 2, uh, what they did improve is actually the waterproofing on the mug itself. So this mug is actually IPX rated, so therefore it can be safely washed by hand, as well as being able to be submerged in one meter of water without any issue. However, unfortunately, you still probably shouldn't be putting this in your dishwasher. So on the mug, it doesn't have any kind of play or adjustment uh, as you can see the only button that they have is actually just this button on the bottom now this button is your on button as well as your pair button so this mug will pair with the ember app through your phone and that is actually the only way to change the desired temperature on this mug so to turn this on you simply press this button once you will see this light on so you actually customize the color of the light that's showing on the mug just in case if you have multiple ember mugs at home and you want to know whose mug is whose so it will help you distinguish the mug secondly once the mug is on it's in a sleep mode the heating element will not engage until you actually pour liquid into the 
this cup. So this is another smart feature that's built into the mug to help it conserve battery. Now when it actually comes to the app, just based on the reviews in the app store, um, this, this app is actually pretty poorly rated at 1.5 stars. My experience pretty much reflects that rating. A lot of the reviews mention connectivity issues and I actually have experienced that a couple times while using this mug. However, fortunately you don't really have to constantly use the application. I don't really find it to be necessary just because the first time you set it up, you go in there, you personalize the color of your cup and then you set up your desired hold temperature. That's pretty much it. Mug is just gonna remember that, that temperature and the next time you pour a beverage into the mug, it's just gonna go ahead and let it cool down to whatever the desired temperature is and then hold it there. So again, the app might be very frustrating. Unfortunately, you don't really need to deal with it that much. So as you can see right now, it's detecting that the cup is empty, but let me show you what, what happens once I add some liquid into the mug. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some water that is just off boil. All right, so right now, as you can see, the mug is it's detecting that there is liquid inside and it has turned itself on. I have set the desired temperature to be at 125. This is pretty much the temperature that I use when I drink my coffee. So right now, the mug is just allowing the beverage to cool. But as you can see, it's actually a very slow process. It doesn't help with the cooling process, so your beverage will cool just as fast or slow, uh, depending on how you look at it, as it normally would inside a regular mug. So typically, I would say a freshly made cup of coffee will probably come to your desired temperature in around five to 10 minutes. Now, while I'm in the app, let me just go ahead and show you some of the other functions that I have in here. So in the setting, as you can see, it will tell you the battery life, a, the brightness of the LED on the mug. And of course, you can go ahead and customize. You can actually just you know go ahead and change the color of the LED light that's on your mug. And of course, you can change your Fahrenheit and Celsius setting and you can enable notification on to, to notify you when the beverage reached its desired temperature. Now that's pretty much it. So it's actually a pretty straightforward, simple app, if only they can fix the connectivity issue. But anyways, let's move on to my thoughts. So this is how the mug looks like sitting on the coaster slash charger. One thing of note is that you actually don't need to have the mug on the coaster for the temperature hold function to be working. And like I mentioned before, for the 14 ounce version that we have here, on a full charge, it should be able to hold its temperature for approximately 80 minutes. Obviously depending on the environment temperature of, as well as the amount of liquid that's actually inside the mug. Although I would imagine most of the people that's considering this mug is thinking about getting one for their office, whether that being a home office or an actual office. Office. So therefore, chances are you are gonna have this coaster on your desk anyway. So the charging probably isn't really a big issue. All right, so finally, how do I feel about this? I actually feel that the function that this mug provides is a great function because a lot of times, whether at home or at work, you make your nice cup of coffee, very often you end up leaving it on your desk, whether that that's because you got distracted by work or maybe you got called off to do something else. And by the time you come back to your cup of coffee, it's no longer at a nice temperature. So what this mug actually helps you to do is hold your coffee at that perfect temperature for as long as possible and therefore you can always enjoy your beverage at your most desired temperature. And the temperature of the beverage actually makes a huge difference when it comes to your beverage. I have also seen another video by James Hoffman recently that talked about this exact thing where he actually went and test out the effects of different reheating methods on taste. And the conclusion is it's better to not reheat your coffee at all. And this product addresses exactly that issue. However, I cannot consciously say Say that this mug is for everyone at $100 for the 10 ounce version and $130 for the 14 ounce version it's obviously very expensive especially when you think about the fact that this is just a mug so I personally wouldn't spend that kind of money on a piece of mug however I also wouldn't mind receiving one as a present so I guess the best way I would describe this mug is that it's a first world product that's addressing a first world problem. With that said, if you have that someone in your life that really enjoys their beverage, I actually think that this is a great present to buy for that someone. I just don't think I can stomach the cost for myself. But this is still an early adoption product, so down the line, if the price of the mug goes down and hopefully they add the Qi charging function to this mug, I might reconsider. That's it for this episode. I really hope that you find it to be helpful and hopefully I did answer some questions that you have have regarding the amber mug now tell me in the comments down below would you actually buy a mug like this anyways until next time bye